Radio Engineering Graphics and Design Learners, welcome to the How to Hack Your Pet series only on How to EGD, where we discuss in detail the requirements of each component of your EGD civil pet for this year. Now, we've done a couple of videos. We're almost at the end of the series and we are deep diving into the site plan. And I'm going to show you the exact requirements, how to hack this, and show you a couple of practical examples of previous years work. So let's get started by looking at 5.2 on page 14. You need to draw to a suitable scale the complete detailed site plan of stand 61. Okay, a complete and detailed site plan. And in this you must include the following. All and every given general side details and features of stand 61. Now, where do you get all the given general side details and features of stand 61? It's right in this document. You need to turn back to page 11 and there it is given to you all of those details. And remember on this, none of this detail can be left out. Look in the description below. There's a download to this document if you might have misplaced it because you're going to need it to get this 100% correct. Okay, also you need to include the existing school buildings, the existing driveways, existing parking areas and sport fields must be shown. Then you need to include the proposed new building and the complete walkway that connects your building with the existing buildings. You need to show all the sewer detail and that's going to be of course the rotting ice, the inspection ice, the sewer line heading to the manholes, etc. All of the sewer details. You need to add dimensions, including the reference and setting out dimensions. Those are the dimensions that a contractor will use, of course, to position that building at the correct spot. The corner heights must be shown. Your scale must be done correctly. Now, here's the tip of this video. Your scale, I checked it. One, to 800. That's going to be more than adequate to fit your site plan onto an A3. Of course, you can have a variation on this, but 1 to 800 should be more than fine to fit it on an A3 in landscape. Okay. And then your north point. Okay. Now, this goes along with a checklist on page 16. And you can go to 5.2 and you'll see exactly the same requirements. The site plan correctly drawn with all the given site features as given to you in your pad document, your proposed new building, complete walkway to existing buildings, all sewer details, dimensions, setting out dimensions, corner rights as we've mentioned, the suitable scale, indicated correctly, and the north point. All of that done correctly according to SANS will give you a 10 out of 10 guaranteed. Here we are. This is a drawing done by a previous year student of mine, nailing his pet. And let's just look, of course, this is a completely different pet than yours, but look at the components here that's still relevant for, for you. They've included all the given side details, okay? They've done the title correctly here on top. They've done the scale. This was 1 to 500, which worked in this instance. They've indicated the new proposed buildings in that year they had two mirror uh, buildings and look at how they've done that you've got your outline clearly with red shaded inside and labeled proposed new building all right then you have on your sewer you've got your inspection eyes coming out labeled correctly you've got your inspection chambers you've got your rotting eyes going to your main sewer line. All of that is going to be brown. Okay, you've got your building lines, your corner heights, your north arrow, labels, the setting out dimensions is indicated here on the left hand side and that's the distance from the building lines to the building on, on this corner to get that placement correctly as well on this corner in this instance. Okay, the contour lines are indicated. All of that is clearly visible with your roads, parking, etc. Let's look at another example. Okay, this is from I think a year ago, and in that instance, again, clearly indicated in red. Again, your sewer details, there was trees on that site. Again, making use, full use, and labeling it correctly 
um, according to the given site plan and showing the correct position of your proposed new building. Right, so that's some examples with your checklist. Make sure you check the description and also make sure you subscribe because there's two more videos in this series to help you finish your pet well. Thanks for watching. Cheers.